Hello everyone, this is Ray Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get started. Problem. Solve d cube y by dx cube minus 3 into dy by dx plus 2 y equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. d cube y by dx cube minus 3 into dy by dx plus 2y equals to 0. We know that d by dx can be written as capital D, right? And d square by dx square can be written as d square, capital D square. And d cube by dx cube can be written as capital D cube, right? Here D is a differential operator. So we are going to write the given equation in operator form. D cube y minus 3 dy plus 2 y equals to 0. Now take y common from all the three terms, then you'll get d cube minus 3d plus 2 into y equals to 0, which is in operator form f of d into y equals to 0, where f of d equals to d cube minus 3d plus 2. Simply compare these two equations to write f of d. Now we need to write the order and degree of the given equation, right? So here the highest order is d cube y by dx cube. Sorry, the highest derivative is d cube y by dx cube. So order will be 3 and coming to degree. The power of the highest power, I can say the highest power of the highest derivative will be a degree. So this is the highest derivative and its power is 1. So our degree is 1. Right. Now we have f of d d cube minus 3d plus 2. Now we are going to find a general solution to the given equation using auxiliary equation. Okay. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y is equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to replace d by m to get f of m. Then you'll get m cube minus 3m plus 2. So our auxiliary equation will be m cube minus 3m plus 2 equals to 0. Now we need to find the roots m equals to m1, m2, m3, so on. Okay, from this equation. Or you can consider the polynomial to find the factors or roots. Okay. So now we are going to use synthetic division method. To find roots. Okay. So, firstly, We'll check for m equals to 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3. Okay. Let's check for, firstly consider the polynomial m cube minus 3m plus 2. Put m equals to 1 firstly. 1 cube minus 3 times 1 
plus 2 equals to 1 minus 3 plus 2 which is equals to 3 minus 3 equals to 0. So m equals to 1 satisfies the polynomial, this polynomial, right? Or we can say that m equals to 1 makes, satisfies this equation. Okay. So here m equals to 1 satisfies the polynomial. So from this we'll get m minus 1 equals to 0. Right. Fine. We need to find the next polynomial. So we'll see how to find the suitable root and the next polynomial okay one don't have any square term so consider it as zero minus three two zero so this this polynomial is satisfied by m equals to one so put one here one plus zero one 1 into 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2, 1 into minus 2 is minus 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So our next polynomial will be m power 0, m square, m cube, right? Sorry, m power 0, m power 1 and m square. Our next polynomial is m squared plus m minus 2, right? So now we'll check for m equals to minus 1 or 2 or minus 2. Firstly, let's see for m equals to 1. Then we'll get 1 square plus 1 minus 2 which is equals to 1 plus 1 minus 2 which is equals to 2 minus 2 equals to 0. So m equals to 1 satisfies this polynomial, right? m equals to 1 again. From this we'll get the factor m minus 1. 1 plus 0. 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1, 2 is a 2, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, right? And finally, we will get m power 0, 2 m power 0 plus 1 into m, which is a factor. factors of this polynomial will be m minus 1, m minus 1 from these two. From first one we'll get m minus 1, from second one we'll get m minus 1. From this we'll get m plus 2. Okay. So you can write this polynomial as m minus 1 into m minus 1 into m plus 2 equals to 0. One, two, three. We have three factors. If you equate every factor to zero, we'll get root. See, m minus one equals to zero. m minus one equals to zero. m plus two equals to zero. From this, we'll get m equals to one. m equals to one. m equals to minus two. Right? From this, we'll get m equals to one, one, and minus two. Here, one is a repeating root. Right? Here we have two equal roots and one distinct root, right? Therefore, m1 equals to m2 equals to 1 is or are equal roots and m3 equals to minus 2 is a distinct root. So, a general solution will be the general solution to the given equation
is y equals to for equal roots c1 plus c2x into e power consider m1 equals to m2 equals to 1 as 1 root right so in the place of m1 you'll write 1 into x plus for the distinct root here you're having two constant take another constant c3 into e power distinct root into x right then our solution will be y equals to c1 plus c2x since you are having two equal roots so we will write c1 plus c2x into e power 1 into x 1 for m1 equals to m2 okay if you have two equal roots we will write c1 plus c2x into e power that equal root into x e power x plus c3 e power minus 2x is a required solution So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.